Okay, then we go move on to the last presentation. Yeah. Which is? The next, uh, our next uh, speaker is Jehil Oliver. Is the CEO of Hello Tractor, an agricultural technology company focused in Nigeria, where she, he lives. Mr. Oliver was recently appointed to, the, uh, to President Obama's Council for doing business in Africa, where he advised on U.S. policy to generate employment and domestic business working at the Nigeria has one of the largest inventories of uncultivated farmland on earth. The majority of the poor earn their income on the farm, so I knew that's where I needed to meet them. Farmers don't have the labor they need or the machinery to fully cultivate this land. I started with collaborative consumption and the idea that the tractor is expensive and is necessary to make farmers productive. So the farmers have access to a tractor. That's as good as only one. This is why I started Hello Tractor. We began developing a low-cost, user-friendly, technology-enabled tractor. When farmers need tractor services, they simply send a text message. We connect that request for tractor service with the nearest smart tractor operator and in a short period of time, the smart tractor arrives and provides a service that's 40 times more efficient and one third the cost of manual labor. You can think of it like Uber for tractors. We designed a mobile app that allows smart tractor owners to view their machines remotely. They can assign operators to tractors and they can see a full record of what their smart tractor did in the field. Despite Nigeria being the largest economy in Sub-Saharan Africa, rural communities are suffering. Agriculture comes with so many risks and challenges. Technology can fill that gap. Ultimately, we're creating a model that can scale and sustain itself and reach, in my estimation, the entire continent. So, good afternoon, everyone. This is now the binge watch Netflix videos portion of the evening. <laughs> I, uh, I seriously, after hearing um, Emma Baez's personal and touching keynote yesterday, uh, I couldn't allow a fellow Cor Cornelian to outdo me, so I stayed up last night producing that video. Uh, I shot 100% of that video at this hotel room in Mexico City on my iPhone, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a joke. It was actually a, a media production company. They did a fantastic job. Um, <laughs> but let me, let me begin by first thanking my friends at Semit, uh, Jenny Nelson, for inviting me here. My advisor, Peter Hobbs, is in the audience. Um, Cynthia Mathis, Scott Justice from the CISA Project, whose leadership in mechanization research across South Asia and East Africa lay the theoretical foundation for Hello Tractor and our work in, in Nigeria. Um, finally, but most importantly, I'd like to thank a personal friend, someone I consider to be family, Dr. Moni Singh, whose strength and tireless support and service to others inspires me to keep working on behalf of those who need help. Moni, you make me want to be better, and for that I'm thankful. Since our inception, Simmet has been an early <clears throat> and ardent supporter of Hello Tractor. As many of you know, bringing innovation to market comes with its challenges. And it's a real luxury to have support from some of the top scientists and researchers in the world to help advise this work. I often joke with Scott that he and his colleagues represent Hello Tractor's 
outsource R&D department. I shouldn't say that on camera because Scott is probably sitting somewhere drafting an invoice right now for that work. Damn consultants. Coming from the private sector, I think it fitting that I'm here as one of the last speakers during Simmons' 50 year celebration. I believe the research community oftentimes overlooks their role in driving innovation in commercial markets. This innovation, when delivered effectively, has the potential to impact the lives of billions of people. And no institution is this more obvious than the CG Center. An anecdotal example of this is how Helichopter got its first start. I was at Erie in the Philippines hosting a seminar for the socioeconomics group on sustainable mechanization. This trip was actually sponsored by uh, a good friend of mine, Ronnie Kaufman, who's also in the audience. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, what I presented really caught on, and by leveraging the thought leadership within projects like CISA and Focasi, I was able to quickly turn an idea into a scalable business in a matter of months, largely circumventing the costly and time-intensive research and development life cycle that most technology ventures experience when introducing a new product to the marketplace. Now approaching our first year in the market, we have over 250,000 farmers networked to our tractor booking platform. And by the end of this year, we'll have over 300 tractors deployed in Nigeria. For next year, our recently launched partnership with IITA and Feed the Future Partnering for Innovation will develop an additional 300 smart tractors from the Agripreneurs Program, an, an initiative pioneered by the visionary AFDB president, Akin Adesina, to get youth re-engaged in agriculture. These machines will be financed completely by the private sector and supported by trained youth technicians in Nigeria. You see, when you work in markets like Nigeria, selling tractors with fancy technology just isn't quite good enough. Within our market, Doing business in agriculture comes with so many covariate risks and huge amounts of uncertainty, from extreme weather events to pests, disease. It's obvious why most agriculture and agro-allied companies steer clear of markets with underdeveloped institutions, weak capital markets, and government policies with no real teeth. For Hello Tractor to be successful, we had to overcome these challenges. We use research from CIMIT to select the right manufacturer of affordable, scale-appropriate machinery. We then modified these machines to be appropriate for the Nigerian landscape. We then built a technology platform to connect those tractors to the cloud to maximize their economic value in the market. We engage local commercial banks and structure appropriate loans for our smart tractor customers in need of financing. We secure loan guarantees from the Central Bank of Nigeria to help absorb some of that, that risk associated with these loans. And finally, we provide after-sales marketing support to our smart tractor buyers, closely monitoring the usage of each smart tractor in the field and activating targeted marketing when a smart tractor's activity dips below a certain threshold. This allows us to anticipate and prevent loan defaults in real time. This provides commercial banks with additional comfort and our credit guarantors with enhanced portfolio management tools like capital adequacy planning. As you can see from these examples, when working in agriculture within emerging markets, you don't have the luxury of focusing on just one thing. When we set our sights on Nigeria from our home office in DC, we thought the smart tractor was enough. We thought if you build it, they will come. However, what we realized is that without a farm bill, without functioning capital markets. Farmers in Nigeria were left to compete with a hand tied behind their back, standing no chance to purchase a tractor with, without our more involved support. So in order to sell our machines, we, forced, we were forced to wear the hat of tractor seller, but also software developer, financier, and sometimes even government lobbyists, go figure. I mention this because I want to challenge everyone in this room to think critically about how we can apply our talents more creatively to maximize our own impact. Simi has 50, a 50-year 50 history of success, and that is an undeniable fact. But what does the next 50 years look like? How can Simi as an institution 
work more closely with entrepreneurs who possess the grit and stamina to commercialize the innovations developed within these great institutions. Can these innovations then live beyond a grant cycle? My guess is the next groundbreaking innovation from Simmet may not be that of the wheat, of wheat, uh, uh, an improved wheat variety. What, rather, the next innovation may just be a paradigm shift where local entrepreneurs work hand in hand with Simmet agronomists, extension experts, and crop scientists to commercialize this research and reach the populations that need it most. Just last night at the cocktail reception, I was speaking with a friend of mine, Kai Saunders, on using GIS data to better understand the input needs of our farmers texting for tractor services on our platform. With the tractor's GPS antenna, we're collecting data on where farmers are, how large their plot size is, and at what point in the season they plant. The question now becomes, what other value can we deliver to small farmers with these data sets? Ask yourself, how valuable is this data to a Syngenta or a Monsanto? or maybe an under-resourced government who's looking to bolster that subsidized fertilizer program? Can the tractor with the trailer attachment also serve as a distribution channel to get that fertilizer or, or that improved seed variety across the last mile to the field? Simple asset allocation modeling can determine the answer to that question. Kai also has some very interesting recommendations. Unfortunately, I was about three or four beers in, so I'm gonna have to revisit the conversation maybe sometime next week. But this, this just serves as one of many examples of how Simmet Research can add immediate value in the private sector. I don't have to tell any of you in this room this. Um, I'm, I'm eternally grateful to Simmet and across the CGIR for their unyielding support with Hello Tractor and our efforts to bring affordable mechanization and other value-added inputs to smallholder farmers across Africa. Without this work, we would not be possible. So here's to another 50 years. Thank you.